Earth here for Easy Access Math. Today, we're going to have a lesson on factoring by grouping. And in this lesson, our life is a little easier because there's a plus sign in the middle. A minus sign, we have to consider a few more things. And there are other videos that you could watch on that. But today, let's look at the basic premise on factoring by grouping. First thing I'm going to do, I know it's factoring by grouping because I have four separate elements separated by three signs. And the middle sign is plus. That's going to make life a little easier. That's good news. Now, nothing is common across the board. I can't do common factoring. It's not the difference of two squares. This is not a trinomial. It has four parts, not three parts. So, here's what I do. I'm going to divide it in half. I'm going to group these two together and these two together and factor them separately. Common factor. And you could do that. And watch. Here I have the common elements of 6. 6 goes into 18 and 6 goes into 12. I also have an A on both sides, and I factor that out, leaving me with 3B. Bring down the sign, minus 12 divided by 6 is 2, and I have the X. And they stay inside. That is factored. Now, if I did it correctly, I already have one of the factories right there. Let's try <coughs> <coughs> now let's try the other side. I have now let's try the other side. I have 9by minus 6xy. My common element here would be 3, and I have a Y on both sides, leaving me with 3. 9 divided by the 3 leaves me 3. The Y's cancel. I have a B. Bring down that minus right here. 3 into 6 is 2, and the Y's cancel, leaving me an X. Look at that. 3B minus 2X. They match on both sides. That is a factor. Now, with my other factor, I'm left with 6A and 3Y. Well, I'm going to write down my 3B minus 2X as my first factor. And my second factor, I have the 6A. And the sign that this gets in the middle of this binomial will be the central sign of the whole thing, the plus. That is in the second set. And I take the other outside number here, and that would be the ending of the second set. And there's my other factor, 6a plus 3y. So my answer, my factor, is 3b minus 2x, and my second factor, 6a plus 3y. That's how you factor this polynomial. Now, to check, we do our old friend FOIL. 3B times 6A would be 18AB. 3B times 3Y would be 9, positive 9BY. Negative 2x times 6a is negative 12ax, and negative 2x times 3y is negative 6xy. Now, the order is a little different, but every element on top is here. There's my 18ab positive. There that is, down there. 9by, 9by, positive, negative 12ax, there's the negative 12ax, negative 6xy, 
There's the negative 6xy. So FOIL proves that these are the two correct factors. And that's how you factor by grouping. When there's a positive sign in the middle, it's a little simpler. Check out our other video on factoring by grouping, which will have a negative sign. A little harder, but doable.